All right, so I'm gonna go over quickly what I did. This is not nearly as nice as it looks, believe me. It's not nearly as nice. All right, didn't do any kind of sanding, any kind of cleaning whatsoever. I just started spraying the hell out of uh, the inside with um, maybe a little Rust-Oleum metallic gold. Uh, I don't have a lid, but I can just go like this. There, Rust-Oleum metallic gold. <laughs> Just started going crazy with it, just spraying it on everything. Yeah, overspray, all kinds of stuff. Um, just went, blah, 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 just kind of randomly threw it on there. Uh, like I said, good from afar, far from good. But then what I did was I went back with Canyon Black, and went over it, got up in there, got all the overspray. There's still a couple spots that you touch up here and here, but it's no big deal. This actually piece of plastic is gonna go away. And what I'm gonna put there instead is this stuff up here, which I put on a different video. It's just like window siding, weatherproofing, something or other. So, yeah, it looks very uh, like a theater Oscar. Like, uh, <laughs> spray painted, whatever. Anyway, I just trimmed it over with black. Um, what I was doing was using a cereal box here to just kind of eh, eh, just edge it out. Just uh, spray black, just kind of going like that. Um, then kind of going back and freehanding it. Like this, with the cereal box. You want something really thin and pliable, something that'll get under. Um, it's got a thin length and a thin width to it, or a thick width and a thin width, you know what I mean. And then just, you know, going around, hitting it up, trying not to, and then uh, when I hit the black, just go back the other way, hit the black, you know? Yeah, just like that basically, but that's how I did it. Um, you can still see there's lots of like, white down there. It's just kind of goofing around, just something to do. It's a nice day and I don't want to sit inside, so this is kind of what I'm doing. I already did this, which I'm, you may have seen in video one. <clears throat> Not video one, video number 53, I think, but uh, part one of this one. So that's my, uh, that is my painting of the engine bay part one and part two well, i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> it's been a lot of fun just goofing around so and that's what this is all about right just goofing around having fun um this is nobody else's car it's not a show car it's just mine just me goofing around having some fun uh if nothing else this is just goofy looking <laughs> nobody will expect it i'm kind of curious as to what it looks like with the roof down so and I'm curious as to what it looks like underneath this guy uh, with the gold shining through. I thought about taking this out because it's just kind of sitting in there. I thought about taking it out and spraying it gold. I don't know if I want to do that. I was thinking there's actually a bronze metallic that I'm painting the whole car, the black midnight metallic. There's actually like an oil bronze one that might be pretty cool for this as opposed to just the matte or the glossy canyon black two-time rust-oleum. Laid it on pretty thick down in the corners here. Um, just because let it flow in there and get super thick the other way, I mean it's too hard to get to you know so I just I went back over and sprayed the collar really quick sprayed the edges got those back to being black you can see I got over spray on them but all in all like I said just fun having some goofball fun which definitely looks a little interesting <laughs> it'll probably look a little better with the probably gonna end up getting rid of it going all black but I figured before I go all black I might as well have some fun after this I might go I have some really crazy neon green maybe I'll do like a gold with neon green spec it's like JDM engine enamel <laughs> so gold in that would be very interesting all right well I hope you enjoyed these uh, part two and I hope you enjoyed part one as well